everyone, what is up and welcome to the channel. I hope it's going amazing with all of you today and right now in this video, I'm going to show you guys a brand new card point system that has been added into the game. This new gimmick that has been added to certain regions. It is not available in all regions and I'm talking about the brand new CP Vault. Now, this is something we saw about in 2020 and it never made it into the full game. We saw it in a beta and that was the end of it. We never saw it again up until today where it has been added into certain regions. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how this thing works and how much card points you can actually get out of this and how much money you're going to have to spend and how to actually earn this card points in this vault and then purchase them with obviously your money. So. Let's get into it. So, first you need to check if you have the vault available in your region. What you want to do is go to this lobby over here and it should display in your bottom left corner. Now, when you click on it for the first time, it is going to say current value is 0 card points, unlock to purchase 80 card points, and max value is 160 card points, and the price to purchase the vault is $1. So essentially, at this moment in time, you cannot yet purchase the vault. but once you have earned 80 card points, you can then purchase it for $1, but what you want to do is get it to the max value and then purchase 160 card points for $1. So the way to do this is by playing the game. So I played one hard point game, came back to the vault, and it was at the max value at 160 card points. But if you, for example, play one team deathmatch game, you might come back and it might be only at the value of 80 card points, but that is obviously not worth it to buy it because that's the normal price. You want to get it to the max value and then spend $1 to unlock 160 card points. Like I said, I played one game of hard point, came back and it was at the max value. After purchasing the first vault, the second vault is going to appear. The current value will start off at 0 card points. Again, the unlock to purchase is going to be 420 card points and the max value is going to be 570 card points and the price is going to be $5. So again, what you want to do is play the game. Again this time, one hard point game was enough to max out the second vault. So now you can buy 570 card points for $5. Then after purchasing that vault, the third vault is going to appear. This time, the max value is going to be 1,280 card points and the price is going to be $10. This time I had to play two hard point games to have it maxed out and I was able to buy 1,280 card points for $10. So, in total, after buying all three vaults, I received 2,010 CP for a total of $16. So you're definitely receiving a discount on the card points and earning more card points for maxing the vault out. One thing I do want to say guys is don't buy the vault until you have maxed it out because if you don't do that, it is definitely very pointless. If you're spending a normal amount, for example, $10 to get 880 card points once you have hit that value, it is very pointless because you're just paying a normal amount you usually would be paying. Just max out the vault and get the 1,280 card points for $10. It makes a lot more sense. You're getting more card points for the price you would usually pay for 880 CP. So okay, that's the brand new vault system in the game right now for select regions. Essentially, you have a vault, you have to max it out by playing the game, and then you can purchase the vault for a select price, and you're then going to receive more card points than you usually will be getting for the same price if you just bought it directly in the store, so you're definitely getting a discount overall. Like I said, I got a total of 2,010 CP for $16, so I definitely received a discount as I did max out the vault every single time. Also, I do want to note, this is probably only in select regions at this moment in time because they're probably still testing it out and then it will be expanded to more regions as time does go on through different seasons, just like what they are doing with the Ground Force subscription service as well. So overall guys, there you go. What do you think about this new vault system in the game? Do you like it or not? I would love to know. Give me your opinions down below in the comments section. But for now, that's going to be all from me. I hope all of you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to smack a like on the video and smack that sub button as well if you have not done so already. But for now, that's going to be all from me. Have a great day and a great weekend. And for now, squall out and cheers. Bye.